Hey, it's Drew Neiser here with another Thursday tip. And we're focused on content marketing, not just content marketing, but remarkable content marketing. And here with three tips to talk to you today is William Tyree, CMO of Ring DNA. So William, give us one tip for creating remarkable content. Really listen to your customer conversations that they're having with your sales team and use that to really document the challenges they are specifically facing in their roles. Start to think about what content that you can put out that's really remarkable that will address those challenges and be entertaining at the same time. I love that. Okay, so that's kind of a one and a half. So part of that is don't just create content because you can create content, create it because it actually helps solve a customer problem. You've listened to that problem or a challenge. And if you give them content that is really useful, you've made a friend. That's a cool thing. If, you, if they actually can use your content and want to share it, uh, then you've even pushed it over the top. Okay, that's tip number one. What's tip number two? I think tip number two is to test it right? Um, we all think that uh, the content that we roll out is great. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't do it. But it's really important to take a hard look at it and, and really measure across the funnel. Is it leads? Is it pipeline? Is it generating revenue? Um, measuring, if you don't measure it, obviously, you, you can't know how to improve in the future. So, and that's an interesting one because measuring the value of content is really tricky. And I'll give you an example. Enterprise sale, uh, you're, you, it's 12 months along the way. At some point in time, the CFO wants to do a speed to value assessment, right? And you happen to have a piece of content that somewhere along the way they read and they found it beneficial. So they didn't say no. It's one read. How do we measure that? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, hopefully what you have is you can measure that a lot of people read it, right, and, and calculate a contribution. So um, it, it's one of those interesting things that I think as marketers, you know, we have to really get better at defining, you know, there's, it, did a piece of content, you know, um, start a relationship? Was it the last thing uh, that they read before they decided to pull the trigger? Those are the easy ones. The, the harder story to tell is how did it contribute to an overall strategy? And so maybe comparing its influence on wins versus losses is a direction to go with that. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to listen to make sure that we have content that's relevant, useful, uh, and in the moment for your uh, customers. Two, we're going to test it. Of course, that assumes you have some kind of attribution model or measurement system so that you can do that. Okay. What's a third tip for improving your content marketing program? I think one is, is um, uh, this is something actually that I live in LA and so I know a lot of movie marketers, but, but really creating little focus groups and they don't have, to, it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to uh, call up Frank Luntz and get them for you. It's, it's really like having a, a small team of trusted advisors outside your company before you're actually going to launch something. If you really think something is remarkable you know, just just form a little Slack group or or whatnot, and and run the idea by them. Um, get them to read a one page creative brief and and get real feedback. Sometimes people avoid that because we're all busy and we think maybe we're too busy for feedback because we have to get it done. But it really really helps to get that outside support group. I love that. So that's a, sort of a variation of testing, but it's really validation. What you're looking to do is say, we have this idea and, you know, and the podcast episode that you and I recorded, you had a big idea about sales coaches, you had a, uh, and, or, or the book competition. And, you know, you can get validation quickly because if you're going to do a multidimensional campaign, it's kind of hard to test it. So at least get validation, particularly when you're trying to do a big multidimensional campaign. Love those. William Tyree, CMO of Ring DNA. Thank you for those Thursday tips. Thank you so much, Drew. Love being here.